Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. I'm just going to open in prayer and uh, we're going to have a study today. And uh, hope everybody's okay today. Dear Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for your love and your grace. We give you the praise and we give you the glory and we give you the honor. I acknowledge, Lord, that you are King of Kings and that you are Lord of Lords. And, and so, God, I thank you for all your kindness and all your love to me. And I give you the praise and I give you the glory and I give you the honor. And I thank you for all your goodness and all your love and all your care. Father, I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you would be in this study today, that you would bless us all, that we would know your grace, we would know your love, and we would know your care. We ask this, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to have uh, a study um, in Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to be teaching the Word of God. Now, before I start, um, I just want to clear up one or two things. Um, as at this moment in time, as I am before you, I am really at peace. I'm really happy. And I am really content. I really am. And I just want to say that that um, my online journey um, has been a very um, massive journey where people know that journey. They know all the issues of the journey and they see all the facets of the journey. And that journey online is at many times uh, an, a sad journey, a difficult journey, a hard journey, where I have bird my soul to the world. Certain groups, atheist groups, took advantage of that and used that and manipulated that journey for their own propaganda purposes. Many looked on, probably shaking their heads and wondering what was going on. But at the end of the day, what has been done has been done. It was my journey and many of the things that I did in that journey I am proud of even though um, I was on YouTube a lot I was on YouTube a lot because I was really hurt and broken and I had become addicted in the sense that my heart was broken and the only outlet for that was on YouTube. But at the same time, I am proud that I took on the militant atheists. For all my crazy videos, for all my stupid videos, for all my breakdowns and all the rest of it, I am absolutely 100% proud that I took on the militant atheists. I am proud of that. I'm not going to be ashamed of that. And that there are certain groups within the atheist community that have tried to discredit me, tried to make me look a nutter. I've been able to collect my videos without my permission and present me to the world, to the public, as some kind of nutcase. But those videos had a context. Those videos were alongside many, many good videos that are not there anymore 
because I've had to take those channels down. So the world gets a wrong impression of who I am. If you want a fuller impression of who I am, you have to search wider on the internet and see a bigger Jason Burns that you don't see presented by the atheist. And if you do that, you will find many, many videos where I'm presented in a better light. And I know that I made a number of videos that were not pretty and not good. And I know at times I was unbalanced, very unbalanced at times, and at times did uh, compulsive things, making uh, video debates uh, to some atheists. And continually making videos, as it were. And these things were unbalanced. But at the same time, with mixed motives, I did make videos that were important. I made some very important videos, and I had a very important message. And that message is as relevant today as it first was. And that message in all my archive channels that the atheists have collected, and in my my um, my videos, that message is that there are groups of atheists that will stop at nothing to take away people's freedom of speech. That was all my gripe within my videos. And I went on and on and on incessantly about that, and the atheist community, some of them actually lived up to the expectations that I was calling out a wider community, where they began to take away my freedom of speech and not allow me to say anything about atheism. And they went on a campaign and they made me ill online because of the many things that they did to me and it was not pretty many times I, I looked hurt bruised and that's because of things that went on behind the scenes that you don't know about that this online online communities did to me and Through that journey, um, I had many issues and I had to work through them and I was honest and I told my story. And there were times where I was um, addictive and to YouTube. Um, because I come through a very very difficult time, a very difficult five years but like I said I am proud to have made those videos for all the mess because I truly believe that message that message is there's a militant atheism out there that will stop at nothing to take away people's freedom, take away people's freedom of speech. The atheist community, some of them, um, have done everything they can to discredit me, everything they can to present me in the worst light possible. And they have succeeded. Now there have been some Christians, one or two, who have been concerned Concern number one that my making videos I'm a better man than having these kind of online cyber fights with these militant atheists. That they recognize that I'm a better man than that. I have experience in preaching and teaching, I have experience in theology, I have a degree in theology. And one or two have come to me and told me that this is not healthy and it will destroy me because of the 
the online difficulties that some of these groups can cause and maybe one or two even today are concerned and I just want to say uh, to those people that my journey is my journey that over the five years none of you were there for me none of you were there when I was broken nobody was there nobody was there whether it was in the atheist community or in the Christian community not one person was there not one person took me and helped me through a very difficult period of my life not one person my family was there and one or two friends were there but most of you 99.9% .9 when I say I'm not one person I mean you online as a community and churches not one person was there for me and I struggled on with a broken heart on YouTube trying to work out my issues and then near, near the end I've recognized that I was addicted to YouTube because of the hurt that I was trying to work through but I also recognize that within that journey I had mixed motives and I recognize that in that journey that I genuinely 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 deep down was sincere in the terms of challenging a group that I felt as far as I'm concerned was anti-democratic I didn't fight it in the best way and I was a wounded prophet and if you want to look at a video that defines me it's called the wounded prophet and it's on this channel nobody should have their free speech taken away whether they're mentally ill or not 